Hi, Lucy, Ross here from eCommerce Marketing with a little bit of a tutorial about how to create square uniform product images uh, using a tool called Canva. Now, if you go to canva.com here, you can register a free account and you just log in using your email address. And what we're interested in doing is creating a, a certain image size that we're going to use for all of the images on our website. And when you go to a product page, you can click through to... So when you go to a product page on your website, you can click and see what size the image is. So if we come in here, there's an image here and go copy. So I am right clicking. I'm going to copy image address and then I'm going to come and paste it in my browser here. If I hover over, it will tell me the size of that image. So in this case, I can see it's 400 times 400. So that seems to be the size for this website. So what I need to do is create a canvas that's 400 times 400, or it might be 5 times 5 or 6 times 6. I recommend making it a square just so that it looks all nice and tidy. And when you come to a page like this, things line up all nicely in a row versus when you don't do that and then you end up with just a mess of products of all different sizes so they don't line up and they look a bit more like this so long and and you know they're not all square and tidy and nice they, that some of them are oblong let's say you've got an image like this one here that is an oblong how are you going to get that to be a square and go on your website um, well, in Canva, once you've created the size you want, you come here and you go to Upload and you click the green Upload button and you find that image on your on your file on your computer and what you'll see is a little green bar load up here and then all you have to do is click on it and drag the lines out and that is going to let you make it so it appears as a square. So there you go as a square um, and that looks really good. You could drag it in or out. Um, these always look better if you crop the background out but I do really like the style of a person holding it um, which is a cool way to do it um, if you don't have the time to crop around everything. So now that I've done that I want to give it a name and the, the reason for that is if it's called image 12345 Google and its little spiders won't know what it is but if it's called um, burgundy rose bouquet uh, then they will or if it's called the product name then it just tells people and Google's robots what this is an image of so now that we've created a square image we need to download it and you can download it as a PNG or a JPG um, so there we go I'm downloading the PNG just by clicking the download button and it's going to turn it into a file that I can put on my computer and here on my computer you can see my downloads file there's the nice square version with a, a, a proper name and there's the old rectangle version and now what I can do is upload that to the website and it's going to look all nice and square and tidy uh, another thing that you should also look at doing is coming to a website called Kraken.io and there's a, there's a free tool there that will let you squish things down so that they're nice and small for the internet. So I've gone to Kraken.io, I did that quite fast. I've clicked on try the free web interface and I'm going to upload that file, that square file that I've just downloaded to my computer. So I go, click on there, I click into uh, find the product and it's 500 and 71 um, kilobytes large uh, and so it's reduced it down by 70% and now if I click download you'll see here is the kind of squished nice version of it um, that's going to load up much faster for people who are on mobile so I'm just going to come in here and replace that file with the new light fast one and the reason for that being if you upload gigantic images that are way bigger than the space on the website and you don't squish them down like this, it's going to affect your SEO rankings because you'll be really slowing down the page. And this is a really easy thing you can do to fix that. Now, I am a huge fan of Shopify 
because it's really easy for anyone to use. It's got amazing analytics that give you insights into what marketing is working and it just makes life easier. I find most people who I put on Shopify and build out a, a template turn more strangers into customers. So let's say we're entering this product, burgundy rose bouquet. Um, oops, burgundy. Um, here, is, I'll pause this. So you'd enter um, the a descriptive product name uh, and you want to put keywords that people might type into Google there. You're going to put the product type which is a bouquet. Uh, the vendor is your name. Um, and this would be the brand name if it was something like a Royal Dalton teapot you would put Royal Dalton in there and then we come to the image file so we're going to go and upload that square image we've just created um, the optimized version and here it is and we also want to add an alternative name and the reason for that I'm going to copy this um, is that that tells blind people on Google and Google spiders what this is an image of um, person holding burgundy rose bouquet. So that just tells them what the alternative name for this file is if it doesn't show up on the page. So once we've done that we're also going to add it to the bouquet collection and so that makes it appear on the page and you can also select the templates and put all your other details in here but now we have uploaded a square optimized uh, image that's also optimized for keywords um, and for SEO. That was uh, Lucy Ross from eCommerce Marketing with a quick video on how to create square images for your Shopify website and optimize them so they load nice and fast but also rank in Google image search. We build conversion optimized Shopify websites and we actually specialize in um, florists along with retail. So if you ever need any help feel free to visit ecommercemarketing.co.nz. Thanks, bye.